Okay, so how bad is dining hall food actually? I've been eating dining hall food for almost an entire semester and I've been to almost all of them at McGill. So I'm going to list out the pros and cons of each of them and then do a final ranking. So at McGill, the way the meal plan works, it's called All You Can Eat and it's the first year that it's been done this way at McGill. It's mandatory for first years in residence and you pay a flat price at the beginning of the year and you can eat at any of the dining halls on campus. You can eat as much as you want, but you're not allowed to take food outside of the dining halls. You also have one card, which you have to load up with $500 in your first year, but you can use it for the entirety of your time at McGill and you can use it at any of the vending machines or any of the businesses that take one card. So the four main dining halls at McGill are BMH or Bishop Mountain Hall, New Res or New Residence Hall, RVC or Royal Victoria College, and C4 or Carrefour Sherbrooke. And they're all kind of connected to some of the residences at McGill. So in last place, we have Bishop Mountain Hall, which is unfortunate because it's the one that's closest to me. But for pros, we have that the salad slash sandwich bar is usually pretty good. It has the best view of any of the dining halls because it's halfway up Mont Royal. It's also really big, so there's always seating and I actually really like studying here. For cons, it doesn't ha always have all of the food options and they also stop serving a little bit earlier than some of the other residences. And it's also out of the way if you don't live at Upper Res or you don't have classes nearby. So third on the list, we have C4 or Carrefour Sherbrooke. The desserts are really good here. The lines aren't usually too long and there are usually a lot of options for food. Like, these are usually filled with food. For cons, they don't have hot food on the weekends or for breakfast. Desserts here, pizza's there. It's just the salad bar and the stuff that's in the pantry. And they also don't have a lot of seating. In second place, we have New Residence Hall. It has pretty good food and it's refilled pretty regularly. It, for cons, it is the second farthest away after Bishop Mountain. It also doesn't have that much seating, especially during rush hours. And first place is Royal Victoria College. For pros, they almost always have a lot of options. It's fairly big and easy to find seating. It also has this like bowl station and sometimes they have like make your own burrito bowls or stuff like that. It is also the most central on campus so it's really easy to access especially if you're on campus during lunchtime. For cons, it gets really busy especially during rush hours. Brand reveal. A waffle! Look how glorious that looks. I was so afraid that I'd burn it. So some things that I originally forgot to mention. The menus are posted online beforehand and there's a McGill Foods Instagram 
that where you can get updates on all the dining halls and they also have special theme weeks like there's salad week there's a christmas feast things like that and there's usually special food for that and then the second thing is that there is vegan food at every single meal and they are pretty accommodating for any dietary restrictions there are less options if you do have a restriction and i will say that the, because everything is buffet style, there is risk of cross-contamination. And then the last thing that I wanted to mention is that most of the staff are really nice, so say hi to them and don't do anything to get on their bad side. I didn't include the La Citadel Cafe or the Douglas Hall Dining Hall as part of the rankings because the La Cit Cafe only takes the one card and Douglas Hall is only open to Douglas students and I don't think it serves any hot food. So that's it for the rankings. Bye.